y'all. I'm actually using a different camera, so we're gonna see how this turns out. Today I'm making hamburgers. I'm gonna be putting these on the grill. I have two pounds of lean ground beef. I am going to add a tablespoon of Montreal steak seasoning. I think that's gonna make it taste really good. I'm also gonna be adding a tablespoon of Worcestershire. <laughs> I can never say it right. Worcestershire sauce or whatever. So I'm gonna add that. I'm also gonna add one egg, which I forgot to get. One egg. And then I'm also gonna add a cup of, or around a cup, maybe not a whole cup. But I have some just regular plain breadcrumbs that we're gonna add into this. I'm just gonna kinda start out with about, I don't know, maybe three quarters. And I'm gonna have to use my hands to kinda mix this up good. And then I'm gonna add that in just a minute. I just don't wanna add too much. And this just helps kinda hold these together. So. add is I like a one sauce in mine. My hands, I will clean this off in a minute. <laughs> this is almost gone so actually I'm just gonna, that may look like a lot but hey we like it. It's good. Gives it that steak burger taste. Next what I'm gonna do is I have a hamburger press and I'm going to set this up and make my patties with it. And this thing comes in handy. I usually set it, uh, it says on here, but I'm See how big that makes them. Okay. My goal is with these two pounds of meat is to make eight. Dad's on his way. Um, is to make eight hamburgers. So let's see. Can add a little more to that. And using the wax paper just keeps it from sticking. Let's see, it makes pretty good sized patties. Like I said, you can adjust that. Okay. I'm gonna make all these patties now. these to the grill. Okay y'all, now I have my Traeger grill, my son's waving, and I have this heated up. I'm gonna go ahead and start setting the burgers on. This is a pellet grill, so it cooks a little bit different than a regular grill. My husband might say these were too thick, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> he wasn't here, so I just kind of made on my own way. They are pretty big. Ooh. I'm not the big, I'm not a big grilling person, but I really wanted burgers today, so. So now we're just gonna let those cook. And I have it set on, I'm gonna turn it up to 375 and then I'll keep a check on them. Okay, y'all. Today I am making Mississippi pot roast. And if y'all have never had this, oh my word, you need to try it. It is so good. I have a boneless chuck roast 
that I just got this morning from the meat market. I'm going to stick that in there. Then you take a package of, I don't know how you pronounce it, all juice gravy, or I don't know. Anyways, you will sprinkle that over. And then a package of ranch dressing mix. And my kids, oh, this is one of their favorite meals. <clears throat> and then you take a stick of butter, and I I guess you could cut it up, but I just stick the whole butt, the whole thing just right here on top. And then you take pepper, pepperoncini, however you say them, and put about six to eight of these in here. And I just kind of lay them around in here. And I always remove these at the end. We they cook and like the flavor comes out into them, so you get a really good flavor from them, but you don't have to, you know, eat them, so. Like I said, this is what they're, what they are. And then you just cover it, turn it on low, and let it cook for about eight hours. See how easy that was? That is so simple, and I will, come back later and show you the end result. And I'm sorry, last night I forgot to come back and show you the burgers that we made, but they turned out so good and juicy. Okay, y'all, this is done. It has been cooking all day. I'm going to remove those little peppers because my family, we like the flavor, but don't really care for eating the peppers, so. I'm going to just take those out. I'm telling y'all this is going to be so good. And look at that. Oh my word, y'all. It just tears into just I mean just it's just falling apart. We love this. My family will tear this up. So, all I'm making tonight, I just wasn't in the, I just didn't feel like making anything extravagant for a side. We're just gonna, my kids love mac and cheese, so we're just gonna make craft mac and cheese. And let me show you. I'm gonna just, for now, I'm gonna turn it on, keep warm, and cover it up. And, um, I have, if you've never tried these, these are the Idaho potatoes and I always just do the microwave you just put two cups of water and you microwave for four to five minutes and then you stir these in and they are very good today we're trying the smoky cheese and bacon okay y'all I'm using this other camera again I'm not really good at it but there is all the food in a minute we will come back and I'll let you know how everybody liked it <laughs> All right. How do you like it? This is like one of their favorite meals. Wonderful. It tastes better with Hawaiian rolls. Oh yeah, I forgot to buy Hawaiian rolls. Usually we have Hawaiian rolls. Make almost like a little it. slider. Mm. Is it good, honey? I got a thumbs up. Adrian, is it good? Oh yeah. <laughs> it really is, y'all. This roast is so good. They get it. Right. <laughs> kind of almost feel. Tonight, y'all, we are making taco soup. I have one pound of lean ground beef, and then I have a rounded cup of onions, diced up onions. And I did something different I don't, haven't really ever done, is I took and put a little bit of these red onions in there because I had left over from the other day when I made hamburgers, so I just cut a few of those up too. And I'm going to, I'm going to, that's not the word. I'm going to brown this meat. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt and pepper and some garlic because y'all know I love it and I cannot cook like I've said before ground beef without adding some seasoning even though I will be adding seasoning in a little bit I just I don't know just doesn't feel right to let it cook without any on it so we are going to get this cooked 
and then I'll come back in just a little bit and I will show you uh, what we're going to do next. Okay y'all, we are back. I have all the meat um, ground and the onions are, I think, really pretty much done. And now we're going to add all of the other ingredients. It calls for two cans of pinto beans which I will add, and I just put all the liquid in there with it. Then we're gonna add one can of whole kernel, uh, whole kernel corn, and I just leave the liquid in it too. Just pour that in. This is such a simple meal. It's been raining here. Getting a little chilly. So, anyways, also you put one can of Rotel. I just have the original. If you want, you could use the mild. I just have the original. And I'm getting tongue twisted today. One 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. put in a package of ranch seasoning mix. I just have the Kroger's brand. Pour that in there. It also calls for a package of taco seasoning, but I just buy this um, extra fancy taco seasoning from Walmart. And um, I usually use a tablespoon of this when I make tacos. So this is a half a tablespoon, so I'm gonna put two of those in. Oh, and one and a half cups of water. Just stir all this up good. <clears throat> and by the way, y'all, um, on this week's What's for Dinner, I have been using my camera. It is quite a bit, <laughs> many years old, I guess you could say. And um, when I'm looking at the videos as I'm editing, because I've started editing already, they don't look too bad. So I'm not sure. Y'all let me know in the comments below how do you like the quality of the video. Do you think that the quality of the video is good or should I keep using my cell phone to do the what's for dinners? I don't know if I'll use the camera for like cleaning videos but I thought I might use it for like what's for dinners and things. Um, but anyways, y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all think. So now what you do is, now that I have it all mixed up good, you're just gonna kinda let that, that warm up to where it's kinda boiling then turn it down and let it simmer. And I usually just cover it at least 15 minutes. Or like tonight, I'll probably will let this cook for about 30 minutes. It's 5.30 now, we usually eat around six. And this is something, I mean, as long as you have it on low, you can let this simmer for a while and it just gets those flavors to like, you know, blend together better. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get this to come up, um, to a boil, turn it down and cover it. Okay, y'all, y'all can see my tea back here. But I've got it, it came up to a boil, I've turned it down so it's just barely, just simmering. And what I'm gonna do, I have it on low, is I'm just gonna cover it up and just let it kinda go for probably the next 25 minutes. Okay, y'all, got that soup all done. With some sour cream. We have sour cream and cheese with it. And then we also have some tortilla chips. So I will get all of our bowls ready, and then we'll be right back with it. All right, y'all, there is mine. Mmm, it is so good. We topped it with cheese, sour cream, and tortilla chips. Let's see, Bryce, usually this is not one of his favorite meals, but how does it taste? I don't know, let me take it. Hot. It's hot? Mmm. <laughs> not bad, right? It's not terrible. He's not really into the big chunks of tomatoes, he says. What about you, Kiki? Adrian, how is it? Daddy, how is it, honey? Is it a thumbs up for you? Okay, is it a thumbs up for you? Do you have to wait and see what Daddy says? <laughs> Anyways, y'all, this is a very good and easy meal. I highly recommend it.